To the graduating class of 2020, congratulations. My name is Eddie Olchek, and uh, I'm sure this isn't the way that you envision your final year of school going, considering the world that we are living in and dealing with the pandemic COVID-19. First off, I hope you're all safe and healthy at home. Uh, but I do want to acknowledge you and the accomplishment that you have made here in 2020. And you will always remember this year, no doubt. But also, I would like to acknowledge uh, your family members, all of your teachers, your friends, your coaches, for all the people that have helped you along the way in this unbelievable journey. Sometimes just sit back and close your eyes and just think about all the people that have helped you along the way. It doesn't matter how much or how little. For you to get to this point, you've had a lot of help. So always remember that as you continue on in life. I know you missed a lot of important nights in your final year, considering this world we're living in and COVID-19, uh, prom, your graduation, being able to be able to play sports, to be able to celebrate with your friends and your family. Uh, but this is life. Uh, this is adversity. Uh, hopefully we don't ever see anything like this again, but uh, I was taught at a very young age, uh, the true colors of someone or something isn't when things are great, uh, but when things are tough, uh, that's when you really show who and what you are made of. And uh, we are all facing this together and hopefully we will all be on the right side of this uh, sooner than later. We all go through that adversity. And on a personal level, for me, it started at a very young age, uh, growing up in the city of Chicago. And uh, all I ever wanted to do was to be a professional hockey player. I didn't know how you went about that. But people always told me, oh, you'll never make it to the NHL because you're from Chicago and you're an American-born hockey player. People told me when I got the invitation to try out for the 1984 US Olympic hockey team that I would never make the team because I was too young. I was only 16 years old. All the guys were really old at 24 in 25. People told me that I would never play for my hometown team, the Chicago Blackhawks in the NHL. I was able to accomplish that as an 18 year old. Uh, people told me I would never become the first American born lead hockey analyst for hockey coverage in our country on NBC. Uh, did I use that as motivation? Sometimes. Uh, but those were goals that I had set for myself. But for all those people that told me that I couldn't accomplish something, Back in August of 2017, I was diagnosed with stage three colon cancer. And believe it or not, I did not have one person tell me, Eddie Olchek, that I was not going to beat colon cancer. And I'm proud to say almost three years later that uh, I am a cancer survivor, uh, very blessed with all the people that helped and supported me. But when you think about it, where for my whole life, people would tell me, you'll never make it because of this. And then all of a sudden, I got sick and I did not have one person, at least tell me face to face. People on social media certainly told me something different. But I had, in one instance, people told me I would never accomplish something. And then when I got sick, I had pretty much everybody in my life circle tell me that I was going to beat that disease. And eventually, I was able to do that. I get asked this question a lot about uh, giving advice to younger people. And uh, I think the first thing that always comes to mind is, is I emphasize to individuals uh, that you have to have belief first and foremost. You have to believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself, you will not accomplish what you set your mind and whatever those goals might be, you won't. Because uh, life is tough, life is a challenge. There's gonna be many potholes, there's gonna be a lot of adversity in your life, but you have to believe in yourself. There's nothing wrong with asking questions or asking for help. You know, how do I get from here to there, right? There's that old saying, knowing where you were, where you are, and where you're getting to. The most successful people in this world have taken risk at some point in their life. Maybe they're calculated, but certainly uh, they are risk. And uh, I would encourage all of you out there to always believe in yourself. You heard my story. People doubted me, doubted pe people doubted Eddie Olchek. But if I didn't believe in myself, I would not be sitting in front of you here today. So please always believe 
in yourself. And when you think about this life's journey, I like to call it the, uh, the elevator of life, right? We're all ascending to different heights throughout our time on this earth. And you're going to meet a lot of people. You're going to see a lot of people. There are a lot of people that are going to have a hand in, in, uh, in your journey. But in that elevator of life, when you see a lot of these same people and you get to a certain floor, look at, we all want to be on the top floor. We all want to be in charge. We all want to be the boss. But in that elevator of life, there's going to be a lot of people that help you. And you're going to see a lot of those same people as you ascend up. But as well, you're going to see a lot of those people as you come back down. And nobody knows where that floor is going to stop. So I guess what I'm really saying is, is just remember all of those people that helped you along the way in this journey, not only in graduating in the class of 2020, but as you walk out that door and take on the world in front of you is always remember those people that have helped you along the way, because you know what, maybe one of those people may become your boss, or maybe one of those people may be able to help you uh, open up that door. And I would say this is that if you really want to separate yourself, because look, you're going to be getting into the working world here relatively soon. Uh, a lot of the same people out there are going to be looking for the same opportunities and the same jobs that you may be. But I always tell people is uh, if you want to separate yourself from another piece of paper or another email or another text is to maybe go old school. And maybe this is where I'm showing, I'm showing my age, but to grab a marker, to grab a pen, to grab a piece of paper and to send a note to whomever you are trying to court, whoever the business or the individual is that you are trying to make an impression on because most people out there in today's world, uh, everything is done via the computer and sending emails. But if you really want to separate yourself, you certainly would get my attention if I would happen to get a handwritten note in the mail from you applying for a job or sending somebody a note, thanking them for their time, uh, letting them know that you appreciate, uh, you know, the time that you have given them or the guidance that you have given them. To me, that's such an important part of separating yourself from everybody else in the world. It doesn't mean that you're going to get the job, but how do you separate yourself from everybody else? You want to make an impression because it doesn't happen in the world that we live in today. Don't be afraid to grab a piece of paper and a pen and put some thoughts to paper and drop it in the mail and make an impression that way. I think that would go a long, long way. And hopefully some of you will take that advice. Again, I want to congratulate our graduates of 2020. I know it's not the way uh, that any of us wanted to see it happen, uh, but hopefully we will all be better for this. And uh, I thank you for your time. And again, congratulations to the class of 2020. And uh, I'm very honored to have spoken to all of you via the video world that we are living in right now.